What's going on? My name's Sean Senna. I'm from Visalia, California. Um, I was raised in the lowrider culture because of my dad. He always had uh, cars in his high school years. I think he had like a 70 Impala brand new in 1970. And then um, when I was coming up, a little kid in the 90s, he had an 89 Chevy um, Silverado, which is like the 90s body style that everybody's familiar with. And that I know of, or that our family knows of, or that we think anyways, is that in the Central Valley in California, my dad was the first one to put hydraulic suspension on one of those. So mind you, not ever, but in the Central Valley he was. So he drew, he drew a lot of attention. Um, we were always going to the car shows and the cookouts and it was a big deal. So like I was able to develop my passion and love for the, the culture early on. You know, I mean, regardless of anything I might have gotten into later in life, like skateboarding, music, just other kind of cultures and lifestyles, like the the custom culture was like my like my roots. That's what I know the most. So California culture is what I call it, and like the custom car culture. Everything goes along, like the music, skateboarding lifestyle, cars, Harleys, anything with the motor. I was slipping into it's a Sportster 72. Um, they call them that because Whittier Boulevard is called Highway 72. So that's where Harley got the name for the bikes. So I got a decent deal on it. I had, like I said, I had a, a pretty decent canvas to start with on the bike. I saw the potential in it. Um, started with like just a handlebar change, extended the cables. I did a tank lift on it, a wire tuck, and ignition relocation, and relocated the starter, relocated the turn signals, lowered the rear end with the drop shocks from Burley. So I just started doing like a couple like cake decorating things to the bike, like foot pegs and um, like little easy bolt-on things. And the rear passenger pegs are actually grenades. And they're chrome now, as you can see, but they didn't start that way because they're real grenades from the military. So they uh, were decommissioned and I got a hold of, of a set that were fashioned into foot pegs for a Harley. So because they were raw, real grenades, they came like in a black finish. So I had to go get those chromed. And uh, I knew for sure, regardless, it needed a paint job. 72 model Sportsters, they came out with like four stock paint jobs. And the one I had was uh, one of the more uncommon ones, but regardless, I would still see my exact same bike riding around town. And I just, me like being so uh, passionate about the custom culture, I knew that I wasn't gonna be satisfied knowing that there was like another bike that looked just like mine. I came across the painter, Brittany Seeger. I had seen all her paint work. It was amazing. I came across her on Instagram. So I sent her a message and asked her, hey, do you ever do mail order parts like for your work? She was like, surprisingly, that's how I do most of my work. A lot of people will tear their cars down, whatever they want done, bike parts, helmets, shoes, like blank vans, shoes or whatever. So I was like, okay, well, uh, would you be willing to take on another bike right now? She's like, yeah, um, I'll put you down for whatever month it was. I'm good to go. We'll get you in in that month. So that's what I did. I just tore the bike down sent what I thought was the complete bike. I told her what I wanted. And uh, basically I just was like, I want like a California vibe, beach vibe, like bright, brighter colors, like with the pinks and the teals. And I know I wanted like a white base, a white pearl base with heavy flake. And I wanted it to be patterned out like a low rider car. Um, there's palm trees all over, California Christmas trees. And when she was able to sketch something up and send it to me for my approval, go back and forth until we landed on something and then I told her, I was like, you're the artist and you're amazing. So I know whatever you choose, I'm gonna be happy with. So just do your thing. And she was like, okay, cool. So this is what she came up with. And uh, I got it back and put it back together and obviously loved it, drew all the attention that I assumed it would. I went over to my dad's to show him in person because he had seen pictures. I felt something was still missing. So we couldn't land on it. And I was like, well, I know I, I wanted to put a skateboard rack on the side. We were looking at the bike and I, he's like, oh, you never painted that belt guard. You should send that too. So I was like, okay, cool. So the belt guard, the deck and the skateboard rack were painted separate from the rest of the bike. So she had to remix all the colors again, because mind you, this is the second time around. I have all the real parts, so she doesn't have them there to compare in person. So she was able to do her thing, make it amazing. Like you wouldn't even be able to tell that the bike was painted at two different times just because it looks perfect.
So I hope you guys enjoy the clips of the bike. Uh, I just wanted to give a couple quick shout outs to people that have helped me. So Brittany Seeger, who uh, also goes by Bombshell Deluxe on Instagram. Chris Lacey, he uh, used to own MC Customs in Visalia. Good buddy of mine, he helped with the, some of the welding on the sissy bar for the, the custom Slayer plaque that we got on there. Uh, California Custom Upholstery in Visalia, California. It's right across the street from the DMV. They did my seats. Um, Mechlick Metal Finishing in Fresno. They did all the chrome parts that I have on there. Um, Rad Racing for the skateboard rack. Burley, they made some good, cool parts that I use on my bike, like the drop shocks, the three inch drop shocks, and the cable, uh, cable and wire extender kit. Um, that, that all came from Burley, so shouts to those individuals and those companies, and we'll see you guys later.